Uh, good evening um, from New Zealand and welcome to the post-match press conference for South Africa. Uh, today we've got um, Momentum Pro Tears Captain Sune Lees um, ready to take your questions. Just some house rules before we get going. Um, may I please just ask you to limit your questions to one at a time as we have a full house once again today. Um, and then if you have enough time, uh, we'll come back around. And then secondly, please use the hand raise function and we'll kick off and using that order as well. Um, just to kick off, Thorny, please go ahead and start with your question. Thank you. Thanks, Lita. Um, well done or congratulations, Sune. Just given that it's two weeks and four matches into the tournament, are you resigned to the possible reality that your matches are just going to be close ones um, this tournament? Yeah, I think so. I think you need to go look at, you know, who we're playing as well as the situation of everything. Um, I think we're at a World Cup and I don't think any game is coming easy anytime soon. So I think it's actually coming or getting harder um, with Australia, with Indies, India still coming up. So um, we're prepared to play every game hard, um, even if it's tough every game and, and takes us to the last over. Okay, thanks, Tony. Um Marnus, please go ahead. Oh, I did this. That was marvelous. So I can also ask you also how you the nerves that when also owns nerves is so by the eyes. How did it? I would say yes. It was well done. But yes, it that is hectic and secret for you all tonight. Yeah, that is by a sense very hectic for us. So I think we all by the eyes full for us. Ten keer harder in langs die veld en en die mensen wat op die veld speelt ook. Maar dus dus een wereldbeker. Je moet maar recht wees vir vir die nerves en en vals wat saam met dit kom, maar ek denk die manier hoe die meisies dit beheer op die oomblik is baie goed, ek denk allemaal blij so kalm as as wat ons kan langs die veld en ek denk dit wees op die oomblik. Thank you, Barnes. Uh, Nathan, please go ahead. Uh, thank you, Lita. Um, another close game. Pretty sure the supporters who are watching in the morning have grey hairs by now. Uh, four to four wins. Uh, next up is a team who has been firing the Australian women's side. Would this be a litmus test prior to the playoffs? Sorry, what was the question? I'm, I'm, I was asking, would, would this be a litmus test prior to the to the to the playoffs, the game against the Australian women's side? Yeah, I think so. I think they're a very good team. Um, obviously, being on top of their game, um, so I think we. Uh, I don't think we put a lot of pressure on ourselves for that game. I think, you know, it's a game where we can improve what we want to and and start playing. Um, a bit of better cricket, if I can say it like that. So I think it's just a game where we're going to look at um, ourselves and focus on ourselves and see what we can improve on. Um, but I th still think it's going to be a tough time of cricket and, and very competitive. Thanks, Nathan. Uh, Lloyd, please go ahead. Thanks very much. Um, well done, Sune, and, and well batted. Congrats on the win. Uh, just a word, if you can, please, just on Motorzone Cup again, um, you know, in those crunch moments at the end of a game. Um, you know, what type of a character is she in those situations? What makes her so good in those situations? And, and how important is she for you as a skip, um, you know, in those in those big situations at the end? Yeah, thank you. Um, I think Marizan has nerves of steel. She definitely um, takes it better than, than all of us could. Um, so I think she's the right person for that time of the game. Um, but I think it's, she has a lot of experience. She's obviously played all around the world in, in all these kind of situations. Um, so I think she's a very calm aid, especially in, in situations like that. So I think she's, she's just showing us all, you know, how to stay calm and just how to back your own skill and, and uh, finish the game off. Thanks, Lloyd. Um, for those, please go ahead. Hi, Sune. Uh, well batted and a great performance. I guess, um, you know, it's nice to win, but there must be some issues that, that you guys are looking at in the batting. So, you know, we're seeing consistently uh, things like uh, Tasman Bridge struggling to get off the mark, and then we're seeing like Mignon hasn't been scoring a lot of runs. H have you considered bringing Lara Goodall in? Uh, I mean, are you, are you happy with the way the batting lineup is doing generally? Uh, yeah, I think, you know, uh, the way we've been going, we can always do better. Um, and some players can always, you know, contribute a bit more. Um, but it, I think, you know, with Tasman, she showed us what she can do in the last game against England. So we were fully backing her again this game. Um, and with Mignon, she's a class player. And we know it only takes one knock for her to get um, back on top of her game as well. So, And she played 150th game today. So you can just imagine the experience that comes with that. So... You know, I think they're not very far off their big scores and contributing to the team that, in the way we want to. Um, and hopefully playing Australia next, they 
they can lift their game and you know help us see that game through. Awesome. Thanks for those. Um, Zahir, floor is yours. Um, hi, Shane. Uh, well done today. Um, just a similar take on, on that question. Um, if, you, if you look at your middle order, there's, there's over a thousand caps uh, from Minion down to number nine. Um, would, would you like them to see a little bit calmer in situations than they were today? Um, I mean, obviously, Marazan was calm, but the rest of them were just a little bit more showing the experience in those clutch moments. Yeah, definitely. I think you obviously want your experienced players to take it through and take it to the end. Um, I think it's obviously something we will address after the after this game and just to see how we can improve on that in in the next couple of games to come. Um, but yeah, obviously you would want your your minions and your Chloe's um, to finish the game off for you. But it's still a game of cricket. Anything can happen, and I don't think the people outside understand the pressure um, that comes with the World Cup game and situations like this. So. Um, you know, it, it's a game of cricket, so anything can happen. And on another day, they take it through for us. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Mohit, please go ahead. Thank you, Lita. So uh, congratulations on the win today, Sunil. I just wanted to get a fitness update on Masabata. And uh, also wanted to get a word from you on Minyon's achievement of 150 ODIs and how she's contributed to the team over the years as she's the first South African to achieve the feat. Yeah, uh, Matabata is, is doing okay. She just has a bit of a shoulder niggle, um, but I'm sure that'll be sorted very soon. Um, and Minion's a world-class act. Um, I think she showed it over the years, playing 150 games for for a country, and she's been such a, a player that you can always rely on. Um, and she's obviously a great human being as well. So I think, you know, well done to her for 150th and hopefully not the last one. Awesome. Thank you, Thank you um, so much. Morgan, please go ahead. Uh, hi, Sine. Well done at the win today. Uh, Mohit actually asked my question, but another one that I had was you spoke about the pressure in these tight games and it's been a couple in a row for you. But it could be a bit of a blessing in disguise to help the less experienced players to deal with that pressure, pre sorry, pressure um, in the latter st stages of the competition when it could really count the most. Yeah, I think, you know, I think every game sets us up for potentially the semifinals and for, for big games to come. Um, I think every game for us is a learning curve and especially the players that's making their debut at a World Cup. Um, every game is is a new game with, with new situations and, you know, the, the type of pressure that they've never really had to experience before. Um, so I, I think we take positives out of every game um, and we look forward and, and see how we can improve and, you know, talk about the pressures of the game and, and how we can handle that better. Awesome. Thanks, Morgan. Thanks, Nay. Thank you. Um, Ross, please go ahead. How's it, Sine? Um Congrats on the win there. Um, obviously, four from four now. You guys are pretty much on the verge of um, making it into the semis already with three group games left. Does that sort of take the pressure off the last three with you guys need, needing maybe one win to get through there? And, uh, you know, Australia next up, the team you guys haven't beaten, I think, in about 20 games. Um, big moment there to maybe make a statement against uh, competition favourites. Uh, yeah, I think since we started this tournament, we didn't really put a lot of pressure on ourselves. We were just here to to play good cricket and showcase our talent. Um, I think for the coming games, it won't change. I think we'll just be doing what we've been doing because I think it's been working. Um, so I don't think we're putting in any pressure on ourselves for the next three games. Obviously, it will be fantastic to get another couple of wins and, and secure a spot in that semi-final. But, um, you know, for us, we're just taking it one game at a time and see what we can improve on. Um, and then it would be nice to, to get a good win over the Aussies, um, but they're obviously a world-class team, and it's going to take a special performance from our team to, to beat them. Awesome. Thank you. Um, just three more questions, guys, if you don't mind. As I hear first up, please go ahead. So, today, um, besides the batting that you're doing very well, the, the way you were in the field today, just marching in the troops was, was excellent. Um, how much you are you enjoying... Uh, just getting all those tactical, those small little tactical field placings and all those type of things correct. Uh, and will we see you bowl a little bit more in the tournament? Yeah, no, I think 
I have a lot of uh, experienced players next to me on the field that makes my my life a bit easier. Um, I think the bowlers really know what they want and and to make those little tactical changes in the field, um, you know, they really help me with that. Um, it's not just something that I come up with on the spot. It's It's been planned, it's been, you know, talked about. So I think it's just a, a really good team effort from, you know, from management and from the bowlers to myself as well. Um, and then, yes, I would obviously love to bowl more. Um, but obviously depending on the situation in the game and, and what the team needs, so we'll see how it goes. Awesome. Percy, uh, please go ahead. Thank you so much, Lita. I'm very happy to be here. So, in the short time, you've been able to get the world as the number two in the world. And now, you've been able to get the rest of the tournament. Is there an extra pressure on you now with the rest of the tournament that you've been able to get? Nee, ek dink nie so nie, ek dink nie ons het ekstra druk op ons self nie, ek dink met die wereldbeker is daar al klaar soveel druk op amal en al die spelers voel dit, so ek dink het is onnodig om ekstra druk op ons self te sit dier vir ons self te sê, ons is die nummer 2 in die wereld en ons moet in die finals wees en ons moet al die games wen, so soos ek gesê het, ek dink vir ons, ons vat het een game op beslag, ons probeer net heel tyd verbeter en ons game net voor en toe vat, elke game, so ek dink nie ons het ekstra druk op ons self vir die volgende games wat kom nie. Awesome, thank you, Percy. Uh, if it does, I see your hand is still up. We'll finish with you if you have a question. Thanks, Lita. So now you said earlier that maybe you know people from the outside won't really understand the pressure of playing in a World Cup, which I guess uh, we can all take as a given, given that we're not there with you. But um, can you put it in words for us? I mean, can you describe what it was that you were experiencing in those last few overs, you know, when the wickets were falling and the run rate was going up? How does it feel to be in that situation? Yeah, you know, you look at that and I think it's moments like that where you just appreciate the game of cricket and, and the players you're with. I mean, you know, most of the teams have been on a tour before this, so we've been away from home since the start of January. Um, and with that, it's difficult to be away from your family for so long and still perform and still turn up every day, um, just giving your best and giving your all. Um, and I think when you get into situations like this, yeah, your heart just gets very full and um, the blood just keeps on pumping and oh, it's just, I can't really put it into words. It's just a lot. So, um, But I think it, it just makes it very special when you do um, step over the line, step over the line and, and you get that win. Um, and I think it obviously brings the group of, of girls and management closer together. Um, and I think it's, it's yeah, motivating for us to, to get home when we do after hopefully the final. Um, and see our families, and then, you know, when you look back, all the pressure and everything will be worth it. Cool. Just one more, one more question. Uh, Tandra, I see your hand is up. Please go ahead. Thank you, Lita. Uh, well done, Sune. Well done uh, for this really, really good win. Uh, my question, maybe just a little bit of a two-prone question. Uh, you speak about getting home and about pressure. Uh, you guys are seemingly, you know, dealing with the pressures of each and every game very well. I mean, I'll be it losing a couple of wickets here and there and, you know, un unforeseen dismissals here and there. But talk about that pressure and, and how, how do you guys think you know uh, um, the people at home are doing and the support they've been giving you watching your games until their death and being behind you guys what does that do for the side and a little message for them as well and and I mean that's just the last one on on you as a captain how you know how, how it's been intense but you you speak as though you are also very much growing in this role as the captain I mean it's been like a couple of years now that you've been in this role as well yeah, I think I can only speak for my own family. Um, I know I've put them through <laughs> through difficult times. Um, and they obviously have to wake up at odd hours of the day to watch us play. Um, I've already messaged my mom's boss to give her a couple of weeks off when I get home so we can just go on a holiday all together because I think she's been as nervous as I am. Um, but yeah, the captaincy has been good. Um, I have good support in, in the players and the management. Um, and I'm just grateful to have this opportunity and, and to help the team, you know, in whatever they need. Awesome. And that brings us to the end of today's post-match press conference. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you ahead of Australia. Thank you.